Hello, my name is Gina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we are off to get ready. So today, I thought we'd just sit down and chat while I get ready for my day. Um, yeah, I really enjoy Get Ready With Me's, um, but I'm not as into makeup anymore, but I am into books, so I thought we would talk about some stuff, some bookish stuff while I get ready and you can just hang out with me. Um, and yeah, just enjoy. Uh, comment down below how you feel about these topics. Um, I'll be very interested to know. This is actually something I'm really interested in. So today I want to talk about TBR files. So I've been watching a lot of videos because of course and a bunch of the videos recently um, like 2022 goal videos are about getting your TBR down which I find an interesting goal so I feel like there's two minds about it either people that don't mind having huge TBRs i.e. me and those people that do mind and are doing everything they can to get it down some people do the TBR zero project which is to literally get your TBR to zero the idea of that makes me really anxious because I can't imagine not having like a load of books to choose from to read from that scares me honestly because I'm very much um like a an obsessive reader in the fact that I go from like one thing to the next and so like I'll read a bunch of romances and then I'll read a bunch of fantasy or something like that like but I never know when that's going to switch and so like the idea of like literally not having anything that I could um, like fall back on is like scary to me. But some people really, really like that. And so I'm just curious, like honestly, after watching all these videos, there's quite a few different like schools of thought on it. Um, you have people like Drinking By My Shelf, which I love. I love watching her videos. Her balancing the books videos are amazing. I'll have her linked down below. Um, I so enjoy those like could never be me because her I think her latest one was like 36 or something like that at some point she had 29 books on her TBR which is like a reasonable amount like you could get through that in a year which is not me honestly like all of the books literally all the books you see behind me are unread except this shelf down here this one that one there um a majority of my books are unread so like that's super interesting to me like I love watching that content and I love watching TBR zero content I just don't personally think I would be comfortable with my TBR being that low you know I think there's a lot of people that are though um and so I was like interested to see how other people felt about it and then I watched whew, hardback hoarders all of these people will be linked down below I watched Hardback Hoarder's um, physical TBR video where she literally went through every single book that she has unread on her shelf. And she mentioned, like, I enjoy having a big TBR, but how can I recommend you books if I haven't read any of the books that I have to recommend? And I was like, that's a good point. Honestly, like, mm, you killed me there. Like, how are you supposed to recommend books and be a part of that if you haven't read any of the books on your shelves? And the way that I work my library is I keep only, I keep four and five stars. And then three stars if it's something that I know somebody I know will read. So three stars where it's like, not really my cup of tea but I know like my mom would love this um or like yeah I totally recognize that this is a good book but there's like this triggering thing or this plot point that I don't enjoy and that's just a me thing like it's not necessarily an overall thing 
So like I'll keep those three star books. Um, other than that, I don't really keep anything. So most of the things on my shelves are recommend like that are read are recommendations and things I loan out. But most of the stuff on my books bookshelves I haven't read. I haven't like so I can't recommend them or loan them out if I haven't read them because I don't know like if you think it's interesting you can totally borrow it but other than that like I can't say oh yeah that's such a good book so I thought that was interesting like most people come into my library and they're like oh my gosh like what do you recommend like that looks so good and I'm, I have to be like I don't know I don't know if I recommend it because honestly I've never read it so I kind of like that perspective and it gave me a little bit of like I should get my TBR down a little bit. And then in addition to that, I read, I watched, oh gosh, Maddie from Book Browsing Blogs, Book Buying Ban Bingo. So she just released this. She's going to do it every two months. And it's basically a way to for her to stop buying as many books. But her reason is not money it's not having a huge t-bar because again she said she was fine having a huge tbr it was space the fact that she's going to run out of space she is eventually going to run out of bookshelf space she's eventually going to move to a smaller apartment most likely and then run out of even more space and have to figure out what to do at that point and I can see that like I don't have a problem with space because I have literally I have nine bookshelves um it was a push present from my husband to get me my full library for when I had my daughter because at one point I was living in a one bedroom apartment with literally three bookshelves that were not like sound bookshelves they were not these billy bookshelves from ikea they were like homemade like one of them my great grandfather made um type of bookshelves oh my gosh my eyeliner is just getting bigger and bigger i'm sure because i decided to talk while doing this um so from there like that's like i get that point of view I'm not really at that point, so I don't feel like I need to go on a book buying ban or anything like that. I'm just so intrigued by the people that want to keep their TBR so low. Just because, how does it not give you anxiety? So, I love reading. It's one of the things I really much, like, very much enjoy. I am obsessed with reading. So, the idea that I would run out of books and have to wait until I can get somewhere to get more... Or order some. Hold on. Okay. Ouch. My insulin pump's going off. You're gonna hear my daughter kicking on her little piano guy. Sorry, had to fix my insulin pump there real quick. So, anyway, back to what I was saying literally don't understand the people that like like that scares me because when I'm in the mood to read I'm not necessarily in the mood to buy books I very much subscribe to the idea that buying books and reading are two very different hobbies as I'm a book collector so I mean yeah I'm curious I'm curious so so leave down below what your TBR is I want to know I want to know like are you one of those people that has 30 like books on their TBR and it's super like comfortable for you or are you one of those people like me that has a million books on your TBR and you just like having the variety and the option also if you like I guess I don't really feel like I know my reading taste so um that's the next topic like, I want to talk about because I don't think I know my reading taste okay I, I really don't um I think things are changing for me I've kind of hit that adult point because I am an adult I'm 
almost 25 years old. I'll be 25 in March. I have a kid. I'm married. So like YA doesn't always like do it for me anymore. Like it's not always exactly what I want. But also I don't not read YA. You know, like it's something that I definitely still read and definitely still enjoy. But I'm also getting into like mystery thrillers. I'm a huge true crime kind of person so I never really got into mystery thrillers before and now that's something that I'm really getting into. But like it's a little challenging to like figure out what I like in mystery thrillers. Um, so like and what I like in adult books. I don't think I'm really like into hard-hitting contemporary. I tend to like historical fiction. But how did you figure out your reading taste? Like, how did you know, like, this is definitely a book that I'm gonna like? Because I think that's another reason I have a huge TBR, is because I don't know what I like. Like, I don't know what I'm obsessed with. So, probably the mirror is probably, like, right up in my face. Doing my eyebrows is a little hard for me. <sighs> Who knows when eyebrows look good? Not me. Not me. I just hope they look fine enough. Um, but literally, like, I don't know what I love to read so I'm just kind of all over the place so I'll buy anything I'll read anything I read one of the books spoiler alert I read one of the books for my TBR the first one I read was Shanghai Girls which was way sadder than I had anticipated and I hated it it was sadder than I anticipated but there wasn't enough emotion in it for me like they didn't express their emotions enough so like and I don't know how to tell that from like a synopsis you know like I don't know like I want to I want to feel it and I didn't feel it like didn't connect to the characters didn't really care uh, like I cared but not I cared that it was a real event that happened and that like people were hurt by it didn't really care about those characters because they felt fictional like I don't want them to feel fictional I want them to feel like they're my best friend and I know them um, so, like, does that mean that I don't like those type of books? Or does that mean that that was just a bad version of that book? Like, does that mean that that just wasn't a book written in the way that I like, but I like that genre? And how do I tell? How do I decide? How do I, like, decide that I'm gonna like something or I don't like something? Like, trigger warnings, I can get behind. Like, trigger warnings, I know what's good, what's bad for me, I know. Mm. Everything else though, like I have no idea. Like I've been reading for years, I have a literature major, or I, I was a literature major, I have a degree in English literature. Mm. Like I've been reading forever. You okay, Eve? <coughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> I've got my daughter today, so. She's kind of deciding if she wants to freak out or not. No? Okay, yeah. Mama's coming. I'll move you. Oh. Okay, she decided she wanted to sit up. But, um, yeah, literally don't know my reading taste. I'm trying to figure it out this year, hopefully, because I have a little bit more time to read. Um, I mean, sort of. I don't have a full-time job but my medical conditions make it a little hard sometimes because I get chronic migraines from it but hopefully there's a diagnosis in my future anyway so yeah I want to know two things so I want to know what's your TBR and like literally how do you figure out what you know you like to read like what are you you know it's like you know for sure like this is exactly like that's my cup of tea like would definitely read that no I'm gonna like it it'll be at least a three star read like if it's done well it'll be a five star read um and like I have a hard time rating because I give things rating based on like what they are so like if I'm reading a true crime thing and I think it's a good true crime thing then I'll give it five stars even if it didn't feel like a five star book to me in a way that like I was not obsessed with it but if it feels like if it was a good version of what it's supposed to be I give it a five stars but 
it's not necessarily my five star read. Does that make sense? So like, for example, I read a comic book, uh, well, a graphic novel, Angel City. It was supposed to be like this gangster, noir, like beautiful art style, Lo like loved the art style. It was gorgeous. But I don't think I like gangster, noir type. I like those TV shows. Um, don't know that I like it in graphic novel form. But I still gave it five stars because objectively I know that that was a good graphic novel. That that was a good graphic novel and it should, like it, sh it deserves five stars. But it was not five stars for me. Like, it's not my perfect five-star read. Am I rating wrong? Should I not rate it that way? Because I don't know what my perfect five-star read is. But objectively, I know when a good, a book is a good version of that thing. Like, I know. But I don't know, like, if I love, I didn't love it. I didn't love it. But I did appreciate that it did exactly what it said it was going to do. You know? Like, it was exactly what it said it was going to be. And it's hard for me to... It's hard for me to, like, not give it a five stars just because I didn't like it personally. When in all reality, if that's what you like, it would be a perfect book for you. It would be a perfect book for you so I don't know let me know your thoughts about reading uh, your taste and how you decide if something's your taste let me know what you think of your TBR pile and if you're like a TBR zero person please explain it to me I'm very intrigued sorry the glare from my glasses but um yeah I hope you had some fun, got ready with me, and just hung out. Um, I'd like to make this kind of a monthly thing just because I enjoy it and I don't get to like blab to my friends about books. They're not really book people except one friend but she's away. She's away at college. Well she's away getting her master's degree so we don't really blab about books anymore. Um, so I'll have to FaceTime her after this maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah go ahead and leave all your this is all what you think in the comments. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to know more about me or you're, you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and subscribe down below so that we can hang out more often. And I'll see you later.